have listened attentively to Alhaji Elias Ubulama in his introductory remark, and he has made quite a number of um, good comments with respect to the issue. We all appreciate that the coming on board of the Minister of Livestock, to me, is something long overdue, without prejudice to the fact that some people have had cause to question why a ministry when there is a Department of Livestock. But you see, this is about building strong institutional and legal framework with a ministry coming on board, I think it's a commendable thing and Mr. President should be commended for that. Now, any administration that sets up this kind of thing, an institution, it is expected that it will be followed with willpower. And I believe that Mr. President is out to resolve this issue. The Ministry for Livestock Development can fall back on the, on the initiative that some of us started in Nigeria way back in 2016 when this issue of farmer header crisis and conflict came up. The government, particularly Plateau State government, when the former governor and now Senator Simon Bakola took the initiatives along with other state governors like Nasarawa and Adamawa to set up the NLTP which the National Economic Council uh, worked on and ensured that it came on board. Now, this NLTP clearly defined the six pillars that uh, will promote the development of uh, livestock. And this include, like al Bulama and in the introductory remark, uh, rightly alluded, uh, you have the issue of um, economic benefits, conflict resolution, uh, humanitarian reliefs. Now, with all this, governments at the state, the federal government then under the NLTP, make sure that the project is cascaded to the state. So at the state level, you have the state livestock transformation plan, where, as you introduced me, I was a secretary in the state. And we did quite a lot of things, starting with pilot projects. Fundings were, were provided. We had synergy with other ministries, like the Minister of Finance, incorporated Morphe, apart from the contributions and efforts of the government. So I want to see, see, I want to believe that with Mr. President doing this, there will be adequate funding for that because funding is very critical. And then overcoming the bureaucratic bottlenecks. And that is why the, the institutional and legal framework coming on board in form of the Minister of Livestock is a welcome development rather than being a subdivision and like it is commonly alluded that as a, as, a, as a department in the ministry, you hardly get the attention it gets. Now with good funding, there are lots of things to be done. The pilot project we started on the plateau at Wasi, at Wasi, we went to a grazing reserve because we have a number of grazing reserves. And we identified two of them, Kanam and Wasi. We started with Wasi where we established a 30 hectare ranch, we were able to uh, build, put quite a number of infrastructure there, even though work is still ongoing. Try to build some silos and other things and, and pasture development too. Because one thing about livestock, contrary to what people believe is, is beyond rearing of cattle, is beyond rearing of um, poultry. You can go into this livestock development and concentrate or specialize in, uh, in forage production, just producing grasses that are nutritious, beneficial to the animals. So um, with this establishment and adequate funding, I think a lot of things will be, will be done. Nigeria is never short of policies. There are very good policies on livestock development. It is a question of willpower. And good enough, I want to believe that with the Minister for Livestock Development, who is also into the, the, the program, he's not just coming in as an amateur. It's a question of being focused, identifying the set objectives for which the livestock is meant, and then following diligently. We expect synergy with other ministries, no doubt. Minister of Agriculture will have to come into play. But as you know too, all over the world, Governance is predicated on humanitarian services. Governance is predicated on poverty relief. So 
with the coming on board of the Ministry of Livestock, I want to see a very strong synergy too with the Ministry of Humanitarian Relief and Poverty Reduction. And in that way, we'll be able to achieve one of the six pillars of the National Transformation Plan, which is economic benefit. The value chains in livestock production is enormous. It's enormous. Even if you take cattle alone. But as you know, since livestock has to do with animals, even we on our part, I am a professor of aquaculture and fisheries management, we have fish ranching. And in fish ranching, there are a lot of things that you can do. So I expect that livestock and development that has come on board will go a long way in alleviating poverty, providing employment for the youth, but it's a question of being focused. Being focused and getting the right people who are committed to do that work. In that way, I don't think the minister should fail.